the line in architecture can seem elusive, but it's it's always there. It's um, part of drawing in architecture, and it's partly uh, responsible for uh, atmosphere when it comes to texture. Um, and it seems like you can never disassociate uh, line with uh, linearity and uh, likewise direction. These are very important concepts when we think about what the intent of a structure is. I can't spell today. So we really care about um, two aspects. And first, let's think about drawing. Now, in terms of drawings, uh, lines really make up everything. That's how we use pencils. Um, you think of uh, lines as the connection of two points, as we've said before. And when it comes to drawing, you really just want to, if you want to practice lines, the best way to do it is to draw two points anywhere on the page and just practice drawing five lines from point to point and see how well those connect. Um, and that's the best way to create straight lines. Um, the big difficulty in presenting concepts of linearity and direction in drawing format is that it is quite hard to create perfectly straight lines, um, which you really need a lot in terms of uh, what architecture means to people. Architecture structures, they provide straight lines by nature. Uh, you think of um, a construction site, and what you see are, you just see the steel frames of buildings, and those are exactly straight, and you want them to be. That's kind of the meaning of, of walls, of columns, of beams, they provide a sense of security, I guess. And uh, when you present architecture, uh, therefore, linearity is a very important concept. So we're going to think about, um, in terms of lines, really two important kinds. You have vertical and you have horizontal. And uh, it turns out that these mean, uh, they symbolize certain things and they're uh, constantly symbolize the same things when you see them show up in architecture. Uh, you think of vertical as um, moving to a higher place. You want to think of the arrow at the top. Uh, you think of towers. You think of columns. You think of the force of gravity. You think of ascension. You think of uh, the human um, ideal, pretty much. How do you spell this? Ascension. Um, whereas horizontal is more about the common, it's about being universal. There's a calmingness to it. And uh, these are ideas you want to keep in your head when you think about vertical versus horizontal. Um, what do I mean? I mean when you see a building um, that emphasizes these lines, it might be thinking about these ideas. Uh, what you'll probably see a lot is what is the texture of a, of a surface, uh, most common a wall. So let's say you have a wall in a building and um, that wall let's say has lines, it has like a stripe pattern to it. Well it can go certain ways, it could go straight up and down. Well what does this feel like? Sometimes it could feel like prison bars. Sometimes it could feel like you're looking upwards. So you might want to have this wall be more portrait style than landscape. Um, whereas, let's say you have a wall that looks like this instead, where it's striped with wood panels in this direction. Maybe it's trying to get you to move in a certain direction. Maybe it wants you to find balance in windows or paintings that are all on the same axis. So these are things to think about in terms of texture. Um, now we're going to look at um, how lines are used, uh, not orthogonally, but let's say you have oblique angles. So what do oblique angles mean? If you see a line like this, well, you have to ask yourself, is this line coming from the horizontal? Or is it coming from the vertical? And those are very important questions. Uh, when you see a slope, uh, is that intended to bring people upwards or downwards? Or is it the same? Uh, these are questions you have to ask yourself. 
um, when you're using lines in architecture.